We want to integrate using integration by parts. But before we do this, I want to talk about why we'd use integration by parts. First, the given integral does not fit any of the basic integration formulas. So the next step would be to try integration by substitution. But notice if we let u equal x, and du would be equal to dx, and we have this extra factor of x squared, so that won't work. And if we tried letting u equal x squared, that may be tempting, but du would be equal to 2x dx, and we don't have an extra factor of 2x, even though we do have an x in the exponent. So substitution fails, and so therefore we want to try integration by parts. Here's the formula for integration by parts. And the guidelines are we want to select u so that differential u is simpler than u. And we want to select dv so that it's fairly easy to integrate to determine v. So the guideline of choosing u so that differential u is simpler than u is probably the most significant. If we let u equal x squared, then differential u would be 2x dx. And 2x is considered simpler than x squared. Notice if we selected u equals e to the x, du would be e to the x dx. So it would be the exact same function, not any simpler. So this leaves e to the x dx for dv. And now we'll integrate to determine v. Well, the integral of e to the x with respect to x is just e to the x. Now we'll apply the integration by parts formula. The original integral is equal to u times v, which would be x squared e to the x, minus the integral of v du. Well, here's v and here's du. So we'll have 2 times the integral of x e to the x dx. So looking at the integral that we formed, the integral of x e to the x dx is simpler than the integral of x squared e to the x dx, because notice how here we had x squared, and now we have x. But unfortunately, in order to evaluate this integral, we have to apply integration by parts again. But now u is going to be equal to x. So differential u is going to be equal to 1 dx, or just dx. So this leaves dv equal to e to the x dx again, which means v is going to be e to the x. Now when we apply the integration by parts formula to this integral here, we need to be extremely careful. We're going to have x squared e to the x minus 2. And then, and then from here, we're going to apply the integration by parts formula. So we'll have 2 times this entire expansion. So we'll have u times v, which will be x e to the x minus the integral of v du. Well, here's v and here's du. So we just have the integral of e to the x dx. So we have x squared e to the x. Here we'll have minus 2x e to the x. Then we'll have plus 2 times the integral of e to the x dx. So then finally we have x squared e to the x minus 2x e to the x. And then the antiderivative of e to the x is just e to the x. So we'll have plus 2 e to the x, and then finally plus c. So here we have our antiderivative, which required integration by parts twice. And that's going to do it for this video. I hope you found this example helpful.